So welcome or welcome back to our channel. For this week's video, we're going to be showing you how to make dog, dog ice, ice cream. cream. So there are two kinds of dog ice creams that we make for our two dogs all of the time. And they are the peanut butter ice cream, peanut butter banana ice cream, or blueberry ice cream. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to make the peanut butter banana ice cream. So there are three ingredients that you're going to need. The first one you're going to need is three to four bananas. And the, the, next second one. the second ingredient is 32 ounces of plain yogurt. And the third one you're going to need is one cup of peanut butter, but it has to be xylitol free. Xylitol is like, I think it's some type of sugar. And for dogs, they don't need it, they don't want it. So you don't need it. So just make sure it's xylitol free peanut butter. And you are also going to need a blender and like any measuring things for the peanut butter. You also might want like little dog treats for like topping the little ice creams like really cute. One time we also made uh, ice cream for them without the bananas with the same recipe. So we just did yogurt and peanut butter and they like that just as much. I'm also gonna tell you what you would need for blueberry ice cream. If you decided you wanted to make that rather than the peanut butter banana one, you would need one cup of blueberries and then one cup of yogurt. So super easy. So the first thing that you want are bananas. Ours are kind of old, but the dogs don't care and they taste fine. So we're just gonna unpeel these. Okay, so once you have your bananas unpeeled, you just wanna put them in the blender, maybe like break them up a little bit, just so. I broke mine up. Good job. Just so the blender can mix it up better. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is do the 32 ounces of yogurt in with the bananas. So we have our yogurt and this one itself is 32 ounces so we don't need to like measure anything. And we just got this at Trader Joe's. All we have to do now is just dump in this yogurt in with the bananas. Oliver's right here. It's so funny. He knows when we're making his ice cream. I guess it smells good, right? He said, yeah, it smells good. So now that we added the yogurt, now we have to add the peanut. And this is the peanut butter that we're using. We're using creamy peanut butter by Jif. And this one is xylitol free. So now we have our one cup of peanut butter and we're just going to add it into the blender with the yogurt and the bananas. blend this on low. Okay, so now we have our, I guess we call it like ice cream solution, but just not like ice cream ice cream yet. But this is what it looks like. It's all mixed really well and everything and we're just gonna pour it into these little like they're compostable bowls with tops like lids and I think we just got them thanks. we just got them off of Amazon they just look like this and these are perfect for the puppies and then we'll just put them in the freezer and we'll be all good and you just want to fill them like maybe three-fourths the way to the top that's how much we did for this one Okay, so I'm just putting treats into the, like, the little dog bowls. So once like they they get to it, they get like a little treat. So now all we're gonna do is once we have the cup with the ice cream, Cooper likes to put like these little tiny mini treats on top of the ice cream, and then takes a knife and just sticks them down in. So the dogs have like a surprise halfway through their ice cream. And now we're just taking these lids 
and putting them on top of the cups. So now we have made all of our dog ice creams and they look so good. It's so funny, both of the dogs are right here. Oliver was here for a while and then Betty came over. They love their ice creams. It actually takes them a pretty like solid, good time to finish it. So that always gives us more time to eat our dinner or whatever we're doing. And honestly, you could probably reuse these cups. I know our two dogs just rip them up. So we just throw them away after. But if your dog is a lot better at not ripping up cups, then you can totally use these again. And they're also 100% compostable. So if you have like a compost bin, there you go. And the cups are super easy because they are stackable. So if you have a smaller freezer or a space that like you don't take up your entire freezer of dog ice cream, you can just stack them and they're super easy. They're, they will freeze. And they're also leak proof. And we know this because it's actually happened a few times. They've tipped over and nothing happens. So I know for our family, we would just get Frosty Paws from the grocery store and that was great. And I think there's like five or something in a package and it was like $6. We have two dogs. It goes by really, really quick. So we were spending like $15, $20 a week on dog ice cream. It's a really good alternative. In total, we made 18 total dog ice creams, but we just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed and got some really fun summer ideas and things to do with your dog. Let us know in the comments down below how the dog ice creams were and if your dog liked them or not. Bye guys, see you next week. I just realized I got dog ice cream on my shirt.